and welcome back to another video this is crypto coins and in this video we're going over the phantom wallet in the solana network this is a step-by-step -step tutorial how to make a phantom wallet how to fund the wallet and some of the different functions of the wallet in addition i'm going to share some useful solana network websites to help you stake and navigate through different exchanges let's get started the first thing you want to do is go to phantom.app i will leave a link under the description of this video to all the websites cited in this video for your convenience. Once we're at phantom.app, you want to go to download and it will bring you to this page. You could either download it on the app store on Apple devices or for your desktop. For this tutorial, we're going to do it with Chrome. Click on Chrome. I'll bring you to the Chrome web store. Once we're here, we're going to add it to our Chrome browser. Click here, add Chrome, add extension, and it will start downloading. Once it's downloaded, it'll prompt you to this window and we will click create a new wallet. Now you have to select a password for your wallet. Make sure to write down your password. I'm just gonna make a simple password here. Agree to the terms of service, continue. Now it will show you a secret recovery phrase. This phrase is the only way to recover your wallet. Do not share it with anyone else. You can view it by hovering over the block I there to get your recovery phrase. Make sure you write that phrase down. Very important. Okay, I'll click here. I save my secret recovery phrase, continue. And it reads here, keyboard shortcut. You can open Phantom at any time by using this handy keyboard shortcut, Alt plus Shift plus P. And that's how you can open your Phantom wallet at any time for your convenience. Click continue. You can follow them on Twitter or visit their help center. Click finish. Once you finish, the Phantom wallet is now installed in your web browser. To access it on your Google Chrome, you can come up here to the extensions on the top right and pin Phantom Wallet to your web browser. Now you have access to your wallet. And there we go. This is my wallet here, wallet number one. And there is the default token Solana for the network. Now, in order for you to be able to use this wallet, you need to add Solana into this wallet. So how do we do that? I personally use Binance US to buy most of my crypto and send to DeFi wallet. You can also use KuCoin, which is an exchange where you can send any major cryptos to this exchange and sell it for other cryptos. So this is also very handy. Binance US and KuCoin are the two apps I use the most to have access to these different types of coins. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to use Binance US to buy Solana. The alternative is to send any major crypto from the networks, such as Bitcoin, Avalanche, AVAX, Matic, or any of those lower gas fee tokens into this exchange, sell it for Tether, USDT, and then buy Solana with USDT and transfer those coins out from KuCoin into your wallet. The beautiful thing about KuCoin, why I use it so much, it has every major network token and you can transfer it out from KuCoin into your wallet and that respective network. Therefore, the fees will be lower and you don't have to bridge over your tokens, the Ethereum based token, bridging them over to a different network. This makes it that much easier. So this is why I use KuCoin. So let's get back to Binance US. I will leave a link under the description of this video for Binance. If you don't have Binance already, Binance has lower fees compared to something like Coinbase. I just like the exchange. And this is one of the exchanges I use the most for now. Once you make an account, and you log into your account, you'll go to buy crypto and it'll take you to this page. Once you're in this page, you can select the coin that you wanna buy. For instance, I wanna buy Solana. I'll just type in here, Sol. I wanna buy $5 worth. There's an error. It says, please put an amount of $20 or higher. I believe you can buy some tokens as low as $10, but in this instance, it's not letting me buy unless I buy a minimum of $20. The other way that you can buy Solana 
is by trading it and the market. And that's typically what I use to try to get the best rate. It's a little bit more complicated. This is easiest route. You can buy $20 worth of Solana. You previous the purchase. So for instance, you can buy something like $100. You can purchase it and you can transfer this out directly into your Solana wallet. For this tutorial, I will be buying it through the market and show you how to do that. I go up here to trade. Then I click on markets. I go to USD markets since I currently have this wallet funded with US dollars. Then I will go to search and type in here. Sol for Solana. Here it is. I'm going to do a uh, trade and then it will bring you to this page. I'm going to do a limit order. The current price is $113.49, which it normally populates here. Once you, once you start this trading page, or you can select any amount here since I'm buying, I want to get a better rate. You can do a limit order somewhere lower and you just click on it here automatically and it will change the price there. Or you can get closer to the trading price here. Total amount of soul by one and you select buy here. And there you have it. If I go to order history, I bought one Solana at a price of $113.55. And it reads here executed. Once you have Solana, then you want to transfer it to your phantom wallet. So now you want to click up here to wallet. It will show you your positions. Click on Solana here and you can click withdraw. You can select how much Solana you want to send. You can just click max or you can just manually type in how many Solanas you want to send here is very important. The network that you're sending it through. In order for you to receive the Solana, it needs to be through the Solana network to be received in the Phantom Wallet in the Solana network, which is the only selection, which is great. So that solves that issue. And then here you click on the recipient's address. So I'm going to go here to my Phantom Wallet on the top right, copy my address and then paste my address here. Right click paste. You can preview the withdraw. It's telling you the withdrawal fees in order for me to withdraw one. So it's costing me a dollar 14 and I'm going to withdraw 0.99. So that's $112 and 47 cents. You confirm the withdrawal and then you will receive it to your wallet. Now, if we go to our phantom wallet, you will receive Solana within a few seconds or minutes and you will receive it here. Once you receive it, there's a few things you can do with the wallet. If you go to the second section, these are your collectibles. Any NFTs you own will show up here. Also, it has a small exchange where you can trade Solana for USDT, USD coin, Serum, Radium, Marinade Staked, and Ethereum Wormhole. So those are the default coins within the wallet that you can exchange your Solana with. And this is your recent activity. If we go back to the first menu selection and you click your Solana token, this is pretty cool. You can also start earning Solana and stake your tokens here. You click here and these are some of the validators. Now here are some tools to help you select which validator you want to go with. If we go to stakingrewards.com slash earn slash Solana, it will take you to the site and it's showing you an average of the current rewards 5.76. And if we scroll down here, it gives you a list of the current validators in which you can copy Go back to your phantom wallet and paste and it will find the validator. Now this site shows you the rewards and the users and the balance. If we go to validators.app, this is a site that rates the validators. It doesn't give you the APR, but it gives you a score and it rates the validators through different metrics. If we scroll down, it shows you a list of the top validators there based on the score. This site rates the validators through different metrics and 11 being the highest score. So you want to make sure you get something that gives you a nice APR with a nice score. And another app you can use is stakeview.app. Unfortunately, this site doesn't have any filters. So it just gives you the top rated from APY from number one going down to the lowest validator. And this list is very long, so they didn't make it easy here. They do have all the validators and sort it out by top APY, but you cannot search individual ones by their name. 
which is a problem here. So we see Leapfrog Systems is rated number one right now with 7.18%. If we go back to the validators.app, Leapfrog Systems is one of the top validators here with an 11 score. So Leapfrog has a good score and it's paying the highest APY and it's zero commissions. This number here next to the name is the commissions. Zero commissions at the time. So it's trying to bring people into this validator. You can see new fee has a 7% commission right there. This one has eight. This one has 10. So Leapfrog's really pushing the boundaries here, trying to get people to delegate in their validators. Now, let's just say you want to do some further investigation on new fee. You can either go to stake view app. Unfortunately, like I said, there's no filter system here. You're gonna have to scroll and look and find for new fee to see what rate they're giving. So this site is helpful, but again, at the same time, there's no filtering system. So I'm not sure how much new fee is paying. You're going to have to do some research there. You can select new fee, go to their site. Let's go to their website and let's see if they give us an APR here. And then we scroll down, it shows your APY on Solana. It's currently paying between six and a half and seven and a half percent. And I know it can get a little difficult trying to find these rates. So I hope some of these tools help you. So let's just say we want to use Leapfrog. We can go here to Leapfrog. We can right click the identity. We can go to search, paste the identity there and leapfrog comes out. And there's currently 2,899 delegators. I also have this handy calculator that is a APR APY converter compounder. You could put the APR, your initial investment compounding day rate fees per compound. If you want to add that and the calculator will give you the rest of the information. I also have this compounding forecaster. You input how many compounds you are doing, let's say five compounding every two days, five compounds, that's it, 10 days. And it'll give you your returns by February 17th based on today's date, today is the seventh. And it gives you how much money you will be making after five compounds of profit based on these calculations. And it gives you a table here. For this example, with LeafRog, I have a quick converter calculator here to convert APR to APY. In this example, Leapfrog gives you an APY and I have a quick returns breakdown. You could come in here and input the values and it will give you your daily returns, weekly returns, monthly returns, and profit for the year. Leapfrog is giving you a 7.18% return APY. So we can input it here, 7.18% APY. Let's say that you invested $1,000 and your daily return on investment is 0 0.0197. This is 20 cents per day. This is $1.38 per week, 5.98 per month, and your year profit would be $71.80, not considering the appreciation of the crypto. This is just based on current numbers, and it's a quick way to project how much money you'll be making in the future. It's a very handy calculator, and it has different tools. Both the Quick Converter Compounder and the Quick Returns Breakdown if you see the notes here are separate from the main calculator. So these are individual calculators that are handy when investing in DeFi and these different tools. If you would like a copy of this calculator, join my Patreon under the calculators tier and you'll have access to this calculator and any other calculator I've created. And those are some tools to help you find the right validators to delegate your Solana. I really like this function from the Phantom Wallet. I wish MetaMask, the Terra Luna wallet, and every other wallet had this staking function built in within the wallet. That would make things very easy. Now I know there's no clear answer in website that shows you the score in the APR. You have to do some digging here, but I'm showing this function because this wallet is very powerful. It has a staking delegation function within the wallet, which is very convenient. Another useful tool for the Phantom Wallet to get most out of the wallet, I like to use Jupyter.ag. This is Jupyter Aggregator. And what this site does 
it compiles all the different exchanges within the Solana network and it gives you the best rates to buy any given token based on all the different exchanges. And we go to DeFiLama.com and you select Solana, it gives you the different exchanges. From the biggest exchange to the smallest, we have Serum, Marinade, Quarry, Radium, Solon, Saber, Sunny, Orca, so on and so forth. So let's just say we have one Solana and we want to buy USDC. It shows you I found 288 different routes and you get more bang for your buck if you go through Serum. It shows you more information here and it shows you more information of the cost and rates here. And it's constantly refreshing every 20 seconds. And you can select any other coin here from the network. And it will give you the different routes and the best value. This is a very helpful exchange if you want to trade different tokens in the Solana network. That's going to do it for this video. If you guys found this video of any value, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps out the channel. And I'm going to leave all the reference links of the cited websites in this video down below. Thank you very much, guys. That's going to do it for this one. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.